the theater of Asmundos is considered to be the best preserved theater of antiquity. But before showing the theater, I'm going to take you to the aqueduct of Asmundos. According to a legend, the construction of the theater resulted from the competition organized by the ruler of Asmundos. The aim of this competition was to build a structure that will contribute most to the city's prosperity. And the winner was to be awarded the daughter of the ruler. Two competitors were qualified for the final round. The first of them constructed the system of canal and aqueducts that supplied Aspondos with running water. And indeed, this 19 km Roman and aqueduct is very unique and one of the most important monuments because the last two kilometers of conduit is well preserved inverted shape run rather than the open channel it delivered around 6000 cubic meter of water every day the pipes were carved blocks of limestone carefully fitted together to ensure a good seal using a mortar of lime and olive oil which expands when wet it was built between the middle of second and third century and inscription straight Tiberius Claudius Italicius spent two million denarius to build this that is around 20 million dollar in today's money the ruler was almost convinced to give him his daughter but decided to visit the theater built by the second competitor for the last time when he stood on the highest point of the theater, suddenly a clear voice whispered directly into his ear, Your daughter must be mine. When he looked around in surprise, he saw the builder of the theater standing on the scene. The theater acoustic impressed the ruler so much that he immediately decided in favor of his builder. And obviously the wedding took place naturally in the theater itself the roman builders of this structure managed to express the state of ideal balance between the auditorium the skin building and what more the whole theater matches perfectly with the landscape as well the theater was actually built in the second century ad during the reign of Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius on the basis of the project created by the Geno, a Greek architect born here in Astvendos. The Greek and Latin inscriptions which are placed above the entrance of the skin building state that dedicated the theater to the gods of the country and to the imperial house. Despite the fact that the theater was built in the Roman period, the building displayed many features typical to Greek theater. The auditorium rests in part against a hillside, and horseshoe shape of the auditorium also Greek features. On the other hand, according to the Roman standards, the theater is cut off from the outside world by the skin building. Also, the barren valued substructure is typical to the Roman idea. This theater was periodically repaired by the Seljuks. The Seljuks used it as a caravan sala, and in 3rd century, the stage building was converted into the palace by the Seljuks of Ram. There was a wooden ceiling over the stage that has lost over time. Aspendus was an ancient 
Greco-Roman city in the Antalyan province of Turkey. It is only 40 kilometers away from the modern city of Antalya. Now, allow me to take you to the ancient time. Let me talk about the history of Aspendus a little bit. According to the historical records, Aspendus was navigable via Eurymedon River. Although Aspendus did not play an important role in the politics, this city derived great wealth from trading salts oil and wolves. This city was attacked by Persians many times. Even during the Persian time, this city continued to mint coins in its own name. At some point, this city was part of Lycian League and at some point, this city was part of Dalian League. Two thousand four hundred years ago, when Greek general Thrasybulus regained the control, the people of Aspendus collected money among themselves and gave it to the commander, in hope that in hope that the commander is going to retreat without causing any damage. Even though he took the money, he had his men trample all the crops of the field. The brave man of Aspendos took the revenge by stabbing and killing Thrasybulus in his tent. And after 30 years of that event with Thrasybulus, when Alexander the Great marched to Aspendos, this time the ruler of Aspendos tried to betray Alexander by not providing the amount they have pledged, which made Alexander the Great angry but they could end up with a treaty which was not favorable to Aspendos. In around 200 BC, this city was governed by the corrupt magistrate Gaius Verus. 